okay so good day uh, students so today we will be discussing a new topic which is about torsion of thin wool tubes okay so without further ado we will uh, okay so we will discuss uh, first this drawing okay so consider natin itong ano itong itong tube na to okay so unlike our uh, our first lesson on torsion which is about circular shafts so this uh, thin wool tubes is not necessary is is uh, usually flattened or maybe it is uh, in a different forms uh, it could be flattened it could be uh, rectangular okay it could be um it could be uh, also um, uh, spiral in form. So, but the, the common thing about uh, thin wool tubes is that uh, it has a hollow inside. Okay? So, parang ano ba? So, parang ito. So, if you consider this drawing, okay? So, parang iba yung forma niya, no? hindi na siya circular, parang oblong, parang hindi maintindihan. So, parang piniritong itlog. Okay? So, pwede, so itong mga thin wool tubes, it comes with uh, different shapes. Okay? It can be like this. Okay? Parang paso yung forma. Pwede rin ganito. Okay? Pwede rin sa rectangular. Okay? Pwede rin sa actual yung elliptical, sinabi ko na kanina, okay? Mabuti yung nagtatagalog tayo kasi mga Pinoy tayo, okay? Yan. So, that, uh, so, so, this thin wool tube has commonality. Meron siyang thickness. I mean, meron siyang thickness outside. And then, meron din siyang hollow, okay? Parang hollow siya in between. Ito, hollow. So, Okay, so this following uh, formulas, okay, so this following formulas na makikita nyo is, is are, are both general and applicable to thin wool uh, tube thickness, okay? So, ito, okay? So, this is actually, okay, pinisin ko muna to asa, so I hope you understand, okay? Kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng thin wood tubes, okay? So, parang may hollow siya sa gitna, and then meron siyang, ano, okay? Para siyang baso ba, okay? Pero, um, the thing is that, it's not necessary na circular yung forma niya, okay? So, if it is a form of a circle, no? parang circular yung cross-section niya, and then, and then meron siyang uh, meron siyang halo sa gitna so then use the the, the formulas of uh, torsion on circular shafts okay with a uh, hal in hollow formulas okay so but somehow this is general okay so there is a possibility that your thickness is uniform or not okay so whatever uh, whatever the form of the uh, thin wood tube uh, these following formulas are um, um, are applicable, okay? So, let's consider, okay? Erase muna natin to. So, let's consider uh, this drawing, okay? So, you have... Okay, so let's consider um, an elemental strip, okay? So, we have um, from this center, okay? So, let us say this center is center O, okay? From, okay, i-assume na natin na nasa centroid yung ito. Okay, kahit wala naman sa centroid talaga. Okay, so it's just a drawing. Okay, so let us say that O is on the centroid of your thin wood tube. Okay, and then uh, we take R, okay, as a radius from O uh, to the center line of this thin wood tube, okay? Parang, this is actually a median line. Yes? So, from that um, elemental
Charles Drift in uh, we can say that okay we have this elemental state dp is equal to qds okay so where where your q is the shear flow okay so this is the direction okay so this dp is directional okay so if the shear flow is going there so yung okay so your elemental strip dp mo okay is going is this okay this direction okay so technically to get um uh to get uh the formula okay to get the formula of dao okay so you multiply okay so you so you multiply q D I, you multiply D A O by D P and R, okay? So, hindi ko nalagay dito. So, it's supposed to be D A O A, A, A sub O, I mean, is equivalent to R, okay? Equivalent to R times D P, okay? So, where your D P so where your dp is equivalent to um, qds so we replace or we substitute i mean okay so r d a a d a sub o is equal to r q d s yeah so since okay so we have another formula so we have um we can get actually the torsion, the value of torsion, general formula by uh, D A uh, this formula actually. Yeah. So integral of D A sub O D S. Okay. So then so we all know that D A sub O is R Q D S. So we did we did uh, we substitute to D A sub O. So, makakampuha natin po na formula. Okay? So, this is actually the general formula. Ito. This is actually the general formula of applied torque. Okay? So, this is the general formula of applied torque. But somehow, to make uh, the situation, uh, to make uh, this formula memorizable, okay? Yung parang hindi na natin, uh, hindi na tayo mahirapan masyado. So, if the thin wood tube is of uniform thickness, like this, or constant, yan. So, if it is of uh, uniform thickness, we can use this formula. Yes. From that formula, okay, so from this formula, uh, we can get the shear flow, okay. So this shear flow, okay, is applicable when your thickness is uniform. So we have Q is equal to T, T A sub O, okay. So that is the formula of your shear flow. So this, this shear flow is caused kapag may torsion. So, naalala nyo naman sa previous discussion natin, no? Kapag may torsion, parang iniikot niya yung body mo. Yan yung cross-sectional area ng body mo. So, if that is the case, alam naman natin na yung shear is a kiss-kiss na ano, okay? Is acting also on the cross-section, kaya lang force yung forma niya. At itong torsion is parang moment, okay? So, your bending moment is to normal stress is like your torsional moment or your torque to your to, to, to shear stress, okay? So, pag may torsion, ganun, iikot siya, meron, magkakaroon ng shear flow. So, parang iniikot ba? Ma-imagine nyo naman. Okay? So, pag may ganun, pag may torsion, magkukos siya ng shear stress dito sa cross-section area. And then, dahil tinood tube to, yung 
uh, yung shear yung shear mo is parang umiikot dito sa sa perimeter ng tube mo specifically dito sa median line yan yan yung shear flow okay so lagi niyo lang tandaan na kapag may torsion mayroong shear at kapag may shear mayroong shear stress and for the uh, for this situation for thin wall tube yung shear yung shear yung shear mo is umiikot okay umiikot dito sa sa perimeter niya dito sa uh, thin walls niya kaya nagkakaroon ng shear flow okay so i hope um medyo na nalinawan kayo ano yung torque at ano yung shear flow so ganun yun okay so speaking of um work okay work of shear flow which is u okay lagyan ko na kayo para hindi kayo malito okay speaking of work ito yung general formula niya okay so we will uh, maybe para hindi kayo malito isulat isinulat ko na lang yung uh, general formula na okay so this formula u is equal to q squared over 2g okay integral of uh, li upper limit is l and lower limit is 0 okay of this value okay Okay. Integral of ds over t, dx, okay? So, this is actually the general formula, okay? With uh, parameters na posible yung ds mo is not constant, okay? So, this is applicable when your, the thickness of your um, thin wall, thin wall tube is not constant. Pero kapag constant naman, wag mo nang pagurin yung sarili mo. Ito na yung formula. Your u is equal to 1 half p theta okay so please take note that this is this formula is applicable for thin wall tube of uniform thickness okay pag hindi uniform yung thickness mo papipilitan kang uh, gamitin yung formula okay so speaking of okay tapos na natin okay alam na natin yung uniform ng applied torque okay yung shear flow and then yung work of shear flow or u okay the next thing kasi torsion to we know that if there is torsion there is rotation or there or there is twist yung rotation is is a specific term for all moments but for torque your angle of torque kasi nasa cross sectional area siya so we can uh, we can say it is an angle of twist yan or theta okay to mesh uh, um, to compute the angle of twist just use this following formulas okay so theta is equal to tl over 4g a o squared okay integral of ds over t okay so this is applicable kapag hindi uniform yung thickness mo mapipilitan kang gamitin itong formula pero pag uniform yung thickness mo or constant yung thickness mo gamitin itong formula na to wag mo nang pagurin yung sarili mo okay tls over 4ga o squared t okay and then we have another term torsional stiffness and this torsional stiffness is simply equivalent to your torque or your torsional moment or your torsion okay whatever um Okay, marami siyang pangalan, is equal to T over the angle of twist. Okay? So, that is the torsional stiffness. Okay? So, I hope naintindihan. Okay? So, just please uh, remember, okay? So, alam naman natin, okay? So, yung T is yung torque, okay? So, yung A sub O mo is itong area sa gitna uh, uh, bounded by this median line. Okay, and then this G is your um, uh, modulus of rigidity. Okay, so please take note of that. So your G is modulus of rigidity. Okay, and then speaking of your modulus of rigidity is equivalent to okay. If you remember the formula, so your G is equal to the modulus of elasticity times 2 times 1 
plus the Poisson's ratio. Okay, so ganyan. Okay. Yan. At yung T na maliit, yun yung thickness. Ano yung L? Logically is the length. The length of your tangled tube. Okay. So, meron pa ba? Okay, wala na I think. So, okay. So, since video ito, you can post it anytime. Kung saan malinaw yung, okay, malinaw yung mga formula. So, I hope uh, these formulas will, you will familiarize. Nang sa ganun is, you can get uh, better scores in exams. In our exams. Okay. So, I hope, um, I think that's all. So, maybe we will understand better this lesson if we will have more examples in a separate video. Okay. So, thank you for your attention.